They have challenged me to get involved, especially since I was so negative, uh, with the conversation cards. So you've got some of them. So This I, is how this works. This okay. is how this works. I'm just pulling one up. So imagine me and you are getting chips and queso or just having a conversation in front of a couple of 10 million people. What's one word or phrase that's way overused? Literally, literally. Oh, literally is the worst. Literally. Rachel Cruz literally is <laughs> everything. <laughs> literally. The word I can't stand is the word awesome, and I say it. It sounds like an old, like, sad my pastor friend, teacher. My or, pastor friend has a fit about that because he says that word like should a, be reserved for God. It's, okay. And I say it all the time, too, like I'm some kind of surfer boy or something. Well, it sounds like, awesome, like an old dude. youth minister yeah, in shorts. Like, like, Ew, you're yeah, awesome. Yeah, and we're like, we shouldn't be saying this. But, yeah, it's yeah, it's a great word, but it is yeah, overused. All right, what physical activity? Well, Dave's out on that one. What physical activity or wow. sport? I'm just being ugly today. You what are. physical You're activity or sport? A butt whooping on John. This could is my favorite physical activity. Could you defeat pretty much anyone at? Say it again. What physical activity or sport could you defeat pretty much anyone at? None. <laughs> um, but I am um, in the top 1% on a water ski or barefooting. You are incredible at that. So, um, and I'm 61 years old. I still barefoot. So, that's you know that that, that does put you up there. I somewhere. saw you get off the back of the boat. I couldn't believe. If I hadn't been there, I would have thought they were exaggerating. When you were on the back of the boat, and then you took the key the the rope and threw it into the back of the boat, and you had oh, we were just surfing. Not surf. Everybody surfs. Though. We're just surfing. I've never seen that. Well, it's, it's really impressive when you've never seen it, but it's not that hard. So <laughs> I just saw you on some sort of device behind the boat, and nothing was pulling you, and you were still following the boat. That's that's surfing, yeah. That's, that's lots of people do that. That a lot of people are going to be going, John. That's not that impressive, but um, <laughs> I thought it was. But impressive. I, yeah, we've been doing it since nobody was doing it. That's for sure. We started doing it. We had to get our own little board and figure it out, and then it suddenly became a thing. Now they build boats just to do that. Well, yeah. it's. <laughs> What's a movie or TV show that you're ashamed to admit you watched? Downton Abbey. <laughs> Lost my man card on that one. Do you watched like it? every you episode. Get... <laughs> yeah. Lost my man card on that one, for sure. Oh, man. That was without hesitation. Boom. Just like that. You liked it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Completely lost my man card. Yeah. <sighs> the music just ding, 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 ding. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> If you can't see, if you're listening on podcast, Dave is actually hugging himself right now. <laughs> when he just said that. No, his arms are crossed in a bad body language position. He That's is not. He's is. hugging himself. All right. What's the strangest thing you know about your family history? Uh, that you can repeat on the air. Yeah, really. Um, well, on the one side, I had uh, a group that had my two great-grandfathers were both preachers. One of them was a circuit-riding preacher. And on the back of a mule went around all throughout the South. And I've got his Bible from the 1800s that he carried in the saddlebags. Wow. That's on the one side. On the other side, someone murdered one of the Ramses, And uh, the, the, the widow was pregnant. Uh -huh. And when the baby was born, 18 years later, she handed him her his dad's gun and said, the guys in Montana go kill him. And he did. Whoa. <laughs> so, so you we got preachers on one side, and we got this other thing on the other side. So I don't know. Yeah, it's it's wild. <laughs> so America, if you don't think genetics are a play. years later, Hillbilly will send you your the son <laughs> of your father to that you killed to come kill you. I mean, this is that's that's Hillbilly stuff right there, man. Wow. That's fantastic, Dave. <laughs> That's, I don't even, like, I'm not usually speechless. That's incredible. That's and I'm looking at the manifestation of that right now. <laughs> and you've been making fun of me. Just keep this in mind. I, I, so I'm, I'm just, quiet just now. You. Yeah, just, Want to tell you that you're looking great. You look handsome. <laughs> looking kind of young. You're looking yeah, younger than I've ever up. seen you. Yeah. And you look fast, too. Like you can just run fast. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Questions for humans, everybody. Man, you get a group of people around a table and... That is fun, I have to admit. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can dig up something and get to talking about something other than just stupid stuff. Tell your friends that... You can not talk about COVID and not talk about whatever no, is on the news. There's not a COVID question or a politic question in this Thank deck. you, Jesus. Not in this deck. No vaccine questions. None. Thank you, Jesus. We did think about coming up with another deck on ending friendships and it's just going to be all <laughs> all stuff that you can, when you answer this question it's Trump over. is the greatest ever true or false go <laughs> <laughs> people who don't get vaccines are evil go like we're just going to we're going to clear your friend deck for you we're going to sell that deck at $100 a yeah, piece it's separate the sheep and the goats right <laughs> sure. here y'all can just move over